Now then YouTube, thanks for joining me. I'm in Microsoft Flight Simulator, I'm in Milan and I've got a Wizz Air A321 Neo and I need to get to Skythos in Greece. So today I'm going to take a Wizz Air A321 Neo from Milan to Skythos in Greece in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. By now then, you will have undoubtedly seen a popular viral video of a Wizz Air plane landing in Skythos and almost leaving tire tracks and some plane spotters heads. I'm talking of course about this one. Now that likely will have caused shit to be left in some people's pants but it also inspired me to have a go and see how close I could get to using someone's forehead as a runway threshold. A simple bit of internet researching on the internet shows that Wiz only fly to Skythos from Milan, Rome or Bucharest. So today, Teesside Simmer will fly from Milan in the interest of keeping it real. So, puffy, keep it real. Into Skyscanner and there is our flight for just 35 new English pounds for a one-way adult economy ticket. EasyJet will also do it for a very reasonable £51 but it was a Wizz Air pilot who tried to scalp a load of tourists on a beach in our video so that is what we shall go with. In Flight Sim then setting up our flight with a suitable aircraft selected, we'll be leaving runway 17 right from Milan, then over to Greece, let's try and find Skythos for us. Where's it gone? Now oh, there it is, it was hiding over here, setting up runway 1 as arrival. High Altitude Airways, 1 hour 45 minute flight time, 45 minutes less than what Skyscanner predicted us. Set up our approach, no ILS available. There's our flight plan then across northern Italy over the Adriatic Sea and then across central Greece into Skythos. On the ground at Milan then, this is our plane for today, Wizz Air Airbus A321 Neo. I will say for today's video that I am trying out a new bit of kit. I have got a honeycomb throttle quadrant which was on sale at PC World in the UK. So I thought I'd treat myself and see how we get on with it. It's the first time I've used it for a full flight. I've used it for a few bits and bobs flying around but never for a full flight. This is the first time. Um, so we'll see how we get on with that and all its various bits and bobs and bits of kit that we can do with it. So we've entered our altitude, set our speed and we'll get going. And airborne out of Milan, climbing up towards 10,000 feet. About an hour and 45 will be in Skythos. You know what it means, time lapse time.
just bringing it to a stop here then hopefully in the edit this will all appear seamless and i'm going to review this honeycomb throttle quad that i've just purchased and honestly i'm absolutely blown away by the quality and the value for money um, I got it for um, £100 less than its usual price, but even at the usual retail price, this would be a bargain to be honest. It's made of plastic, obviously, but it's very sturdy, it's very hard wearing. It's got multiple levers and sliders for throttles, which be, can be configured in Microsoft Flight Sim menus for um, you know every aircraft available in the sim. It's got trim wheels, flaps levers, buttons to control lights and um, it's got autopilot controls with dials. I'm still going to be playing around it, with it for some time to come. It's no doubt going to take some time to become familiar with every function but needless to say at this moment in time I am impressed with this. It's a brilliant bit of kit and just make it clear I'm not getting paid by anyone to say any of this. It is just really good. Now Skythos is just passed below us, so let's continue on this flight and get ourselves landed. We've got a big right hander coming up and then we'll be doing a loop round. On to final approach in Skythos. Here we come then, I've had to knock off autopilot quite early because we were not lined up with the centre of the runway. This feels a lot faster than 153 knots. In we come, hold on to your knickers down there everyone. Oh, that feels like a rough one, that's really fast, that feels a lot faster than 140. Let's get reverse throttle on. Come on, it's not having it, it's not working. Can't get reverse throttle on, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Breaking, breaking, breaking. Right. As I said, I'm clearly going to need to play around with this um, honeycomb throttle. Shit, we're going to miss it, aren't we? Just. Yeah, it's going to take some playing around to get used to this. Try to put the reverse thrusters on there, and it didn't work as planned. We very nearly went off the end of the run with there. I bet I'm going to work it now. Yeah, we we'll take some playing around with, but there we go then, Milan to Skythos, recreating that viral video that nearly took some people's wigs off. Get the all my AI pilot to take us back to the gate, and all that remains for me to say is thank you for watching this latest video by me, the Teesside Simmer. Please like the video, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you hopefully on the next one. Thanks guys.